Greetings everyone and welcome to a closer look here on the Multimedia Chronicles. So today I thought we'd carry on with our uh, sitcom theme that we kind of started last week with the Seinfeld set um, and take a look at another one of my complete sitcom collections, specifically Barney Miller, the complete series from Shout Factory. Uh, yeah, this was another one that I got an amazing deal on. I think it was like, uh, it was like a one-day sale on Amazon. It was like 40 bucks or something. It was, it was stupidly cheap. So I couldn't, uh, couldn't pass that up. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, I mean, it was one that I had my eye on for quite a while. Being a Shout Factory set, generally it's a little bit expensive. They tend to be kind of premium sets. Uh, so when you see one of those, one of their sets go on sale, just jump all, jump on it, man. Like don't, don't even hesitate. Just do it. Just do it. But uh, so this set is uh, really nice. It actually has all eight seasons of the show, as well as the first season of Fish, the uh, spinoff series starring Abe Bogota. Very cool. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have is the second season of Fish. And apparently the reason for that is, um, well, I don't know, really. The other, I mean, there's speculation, um, mainly that the second season of Fish was kind of its own series by that point. It had kind of divorced itself of Barney Miller. He was more of a private detective, and it was kind of its own thing. Whereas the first season of Fish, there was a lot of crossovers between the two, so uh, they, they intertwined a lot more so it's considered more a part of the Barney Miller story than uh, well as well as being a part of just the fish story but uh, yeah but that said I mean I still would have liked them to at least include to have included season two I mean if you're gonna include season one please just include season two uh, just to have it properly complete because that's literally the only Barney Miller related thing that we don't have on DVD now is the second season of fish so um, that's really not a complaint. I want to make that clear. I'm just saying that it would have been nice if they had included it, but they didn't, so whatever. But uh, I, I can both understand why and be annoyed by it at the same time, so I don't know. I, I keep hoping that maybe they'll release uh, Season 2 as a Shout exclusive or something like that. Uh, it would be really nice just to be able to... Uh, to get that and finish it up. I mean, and and who wouldn't want more Abe Vigoda in their DVD collection? Come on, the man's a freaking legend. Rest in peace. We love you. We will never forget you ever. You were amazing. Um, yeah. So let's not waste any time. Let's head on down to the black box right after the titles. I almost forgot the titles again. I've been doing that like every week. Um, and we'll take a closer look at the Barney Miller complete series set. Welcome back. I just wanted to mention, I realized I forgot in the intro, um, I actually used to have the first season of this, like the original Sony DVD release of this, um, and then they released two, one or two more seasons, I think, and they just never continued with it uh, until, of course, Shout Factory came to the rescue as part of their Sony deal and put out the complete series set for us, which was awesome. Um, I should mention also the discs for the first two or three seasons are just straight repressings of the Sony discs. I don't think they even have the Shout Factory logo on them. Uh, yeah, so they, I mean, they, it's, it's literally exactly the same discs that were in the uh, Sony releases. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So I had the first season, I didn't keep up with it. I ended up selling it when I heard that the complete series set was coming out. And that's it in a nutshell. So let's head on down to the black box and take a closer look at the set as a whole right now. Alrighty, here we go. Barney Miller. Yeah. I gotta love how they made made the box look like the precinct door. I know I said that before, but I love that they made the box look like the precinct door. It's awesome. And we take a look at the side. That's what it'll look like on your shelf if you do it that way out. I usually have it facing this way out, actually, just because... I love how they made the box look like the precinct door. <laughs> it's basically just a big box with a bunch of pre um, keep cases in it, and that's upside down. There we go. That looks a little better, eh? Yeah. And no backing because the contents are actually all printed right on the back. How handy is that? Pretty nice. Gotta love it. So all 168 episodes and the complete first season of Fish. 
So let's take a look and uh, see what we got here. So starting off, here we'll just tuck that over there, I think. So starting off, we of course have seasons one and two. Now these are exactly the same as the Sony releases. There we go. We'll get a little closer here on a closer look. So, uh, yeah, so these are exactly the same as the Sony releases. Sony released, uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, the first, like, three or four seasons, I think. Um, so the ones that were pre-released, or were previously released by uh, Sony, Shout Factory just duplicated the exact same discs. didn't even do any reauthoring. I think it has the Shout Factory logo on it, but that's really the only difference. Otherwise, it's uh, exactly the same as the Sony releases. So, you know, good selection of episodes on each one. Gives you the original air dates. Quite nice titles. Uh, I don't think there's on-screen titles for the episodes. It's just uh, kind of internal titles. So we get the nice little uh, character profiles there, or uh, character pictures on the discs. Very nice. Oh, I see what they did. So it's each season features a different character. And then a uh, lovely shot of the city in the background there. Very nice indeed. I love that. The thing I love about Barney Miller is that it works uh, much like MASH, actually. It works both as comedy and drama. I mean, it, it's in many ways a cop drama with some very serious uh, moments in it. But uh, it's also gut-bustingly funny. I mean, this is... If you're a fan of police shows like I am, then you will... You absolutely have to get this show. I mean, it is... It's just so much fun. Uh, such a great ensemble cast. So here we have seasons three and four. So each keep case is two seasons, basically. Um, very nice. And again, just disc by disc breakdown there. Quite handy. And then here we've got, uh, of course, Ron Glass, who um, Firefly fans will re recognize. He uh, played the Preacher. It's quite a different character in this. Th this is actually what I remember him from, was uh, Barney Miller. And uh, got Wojo there. Very cool. So more discs. Longer season. The first season was a shorter season. So they, uh, the majority of the seasons were, were full length. So a few more discs for those. But uh, very nice. So I've been slowly working my way through these. I actually ripped the discs to uh, one of my other computers just so I could watch it on the side while I'm working on stuff. And uh, really, really enjoying it a lot. Um, there's, I, I used to catch it in repeats occasionally. I know my, my parents used to watch it all the time when it was originally on. But obviously I was just a little kid then, so I was way too young to appreciate the humor. I enjoyed some of it. Like, I mean, I still I liked it. I saw what was funny. But um, obviously the more sort of uh, grown-up humor was, was lost on me. I think it's just the same city shot. In, yeah, it's the same city shot in all of them. Oh, Jack Sue, what a hilarious actor, and uh, sadly passed away during the uh, during the production of the show. I think this is his last season, actually, season five. But um, what a hilarious guy, just beautiful deadpan delivery, very, very funny guy, and um, great, great stuff. Excellent. I think this is, guys, is like the police... Grizzled old police detective. I can't. The name escapes me. I do apologize. It's been a while since I've watched these, but uh, he's also very funny. He's very much an old school cop, and always talking about you know roughing the guys up to get answers and stuff. And uh, <laughs> whereas you know, and his his stories of of the old the good old days on the police force are both hilarious and at times disturbing. Uh, just how much he longs for those good old days <laughs> and. Uh, how things were different, and yeah, just a really fun character. Uh, and there we go. And then we got the last two seasons here, season seven and eight. I actually didn't realize it ran that long uh, until I got the set. I always thought it was like a five or six season thing, but uh, but no, apparently eight seasons. I also didn't realize that uh, Abe Vigoda was was in so few seasons because uh, I guess the ones that I watched most were the earlier seasons, the ones that had fish in them, because. Um, he leaves after like oh, what is it, like season three, I think. I mean, he leaves really early on, and then went off to do his own spinoff because he was such a breakout character. And uh, yeah, great stuff. 
Uh, he's he's another hilarious uh, character slash actor. Again, deadpan delivery, just uh, amazing, amazingly funny. He appears actually as I, I do apologize. The character names are escaping me, but uh, been been a while. <laughs> um, he actually appears in some of the earlier episodes as uh, as a couple of different characters actually. But with that same kind of, uh, you know, deep-voiced, deadpan humor delivery and uh, very funny. So I think the producers saw very early on that this was an actor that fit right in with this uh, Motley ensemble and was, uh, you know, and, and then basically created a character for him to play so he could become a regular, uh, which was great. And, of course, with, I guess, Abe Vigoda and Jack Sue both uh, disappearing, um, they needed... Needed someone to deliver the deadpan humor. And speaking of fish, here we have Fish Season 1, the legendary Abe Vigoda as Detective Fish. Uh, and I think I mentioned uh, in the intro or outro that uh, uh, this season was the one that is most integrated with Barney Miller. There was a lot of crossing over between the two. Uh, season 2... Uh, Fish kind of became its own thing, and he, he had, you know, his, had his like private detective business and stuff. Um, I, I still, I said it before, I'll say it again. I really wish they would put out season two of this, because really, it's the only Barney Miller related thing that we don't have. So it would be great to have that that second season, so that we can actually properly complete the story of uh, Detective Fish. You know, great character, great actor, funny as hell. And then uh, finally. We have a booklet. Oh, check it out here. Squad Room Detectives. There we go. Oh, here we go. We got all the, the names here. We got uh, Hal Linden as Captain Barney Miller. Abe Vigoda as Detective Sergeant Phil Fish. Max Gale as Detective Stan Wojo Wojowicz. Ron Glass as Detective Ron Harris. Jack Sue as Detective Sergeant Nick Yamana. Gregory Sierra as Detective Sergeant Chano Amanguale. Um... Steve Landisberg as Detective Sergeant Arthur Dietrich. That's who the the old yeah, the uh, th that's the um, the deadpan guy with the glasses I was talking about. Yeah, I completely forgot his name. <laughs> uh, Ron Carey is Officer Carl Levitt. Barbara Barry is Elizabeth Miller. That's his uh, wife. And finally, James Gregory is Inspector Frank Luger. That's who it was. The old grizzled cop. Yeah, he is hilarious. Uh, definitely. Uh, oh, and look at that. They even have it backwards on the back. Isn't that nice? So we just take a quick peek in the booklet here. Very nice. Very good. A salute to Barney Miller. It's a nice little essay about the show and stuff like that. And then you get disc by disc breakdowns of everything. It tells you uh, little bits of trivia in there occasionally too, just to kind of tell you the significance of certain episodes or whatnot. It's quite nice. But uh, but yeah, what a great set. What a great set. Those of you saying, I hope it comes out on Blu-ray. Yeah, unlikely, because it was shot on standard def video, so just deal with it. Uh, this is as good as it's ever going to look. And there you go. Oh, back in the days when there was a lot of smoking on TV, uh, all, pretty much all the characters chain smoke in this. Well, not all of them, but some of them do. And uh, there you go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, so let's pile everything back into the box. So we got the booklet and fish. Ugh. Season seven, eight, five, six, three, four, one, two, and there you go. Barney Miller, the complete series. So another classic example of Shout Factory picking up a license for something that the big studios did not want to complete and completing it for us. They, they wasted no time. As soon as they got the license to Barney Miller, they put out the Complete Series set. So, bless them. Gotta love it. And there you go. So that is the Complete Series of Barney Miller. Um, I love that they made this the door of the precinct. I, I'm sure I've mentioned that a few times in this video, but I love that they made this the door. That's, that's just so perfect. Um, when I saw pictures of this online, I actually thought this was more going to be more sort of a 3D design, like indented and stuff, and a little bit more texture to it, maybe embossed. But no, it's just it's just a picture, but that's okay. It still looks cool. 
Alrighty, well, that wraps it up for this week's Closer Look. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, quick thank you to my Patreon sponsors. Thanks, Patreon sponsors. You guys and gals are awesome. Especially Special big thanks to uh, Kyle Pellegrin, my highest level sponsor. Really appreciate the support, dude. And, uh, yeah, so please consider becoming a sponsor because it all goes right back into the show and just means I can do this stuff more often for you. So how cool is that? Alrighty, that is it from me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching and sayonara. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to A Closer Look here on the Multimedia Chronicles. So today I thought we'd uh, sort of continue on...